Testing, testing, one, two, three. Make, make some movements and stuff. Okay. <laughs> this is the best video I've ever filmed. I get to eat the whole time. <laughs> Why do I like food so much? Skills to pay the bills. <coughs> Went down the wrong hole. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting video today. Now, I know that I say this very often in my videos, but this is a very highly requested video. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, if you're not, you definitely should be, you would know that I like to share a lot of the meals that I prepare for my husband and I on Insta stories. And last week, I believe it was, I did a poll asking you if you would like to see a what I eat in a day type of video video to show you guys what it is I eat on a normal day. So this is a healthy day in my life. This is what I eat to achieve a healthy body, healthy hair, skin, and nails. So if you guys don't know, I used to study kinesiology in university. And while I was in the first couple years of university, I was working part-time as a fitness trainer whilst also working on one of my businesses at the time. Let's talk about the health and nutrition side of things. That used to be one of my passions. I really, really enjoyed learning about fitness and nutrition and how everything in your body kind of works together holistically. My mom is actually a personal trainer as well. I think it's because of her that my brother and I have these healthy habits instilled in us. So I thought I would mention that just so that you guys know that I do have a background in health and fitness. And I really, really do believe that food is medicine. And I also really believe that abs start in the kitchen, not in the gym. All right, so let's talk about what I eat on a daily basis. I just wanted to put it out there that I am not discriminating anyone if you were vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian or anything in between that's totally cool you do you I actually have been vegetarian at one point in my life I have been pescatarian I personally find that for me a whole foods unprocessed high protein high fat diet works the best I feel the best when I eat these foods I feel like I look the best when I eat these foods and it really reflects on my skin hair and nails so just because I eat what I eat I don't want you guys to judge me likewise I will not judge you this is supposed to be an inspirational video you do you you can make your own substitutions um, I actually also have an amazing vegan recipe so there's a little bit of everything in this video and before I hop into the video I quickly want to ask you guys to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. I have to mention this because YouTube has been making a lot of changes to their algorithm and unfortunately a lot of us content creators are getting hit by this new algorithm change. So to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos, make sure you click on the notification bell. That way you will be notified. All right, enough blabbing. Let's hop into the video. I always start my day with a liter of water first thing in the morning. Some days I'll add the juice of a lemon into my water and some days I will add a teaspoon of diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is a natural product made up of fossilized remains of tiny aquatic organisms called diatoms and is usually processed into a white powder like this for easy consumption and absorption by the body. It is an exceptional source of silica which fights free radicals, detoxifies the body and promotes collagen and elastin production which is incredible for all the tissues in your body including your hair, skin and nails. For breakfast, I like to have something that is high in healthy fat and protein to fuel my body for my busy day ahead and keep me feeling full and satisfied until lunchtime. One of my go-tos is avocado toast. I mean, who doesn't love a good avocado toast? Fun fact, you guys, I was diagnosed with a gluten intolerance several years ago, so now I can only eat gluten-free bread. Okay, so maybe it's a fun fact for you guys. Not so much for me, but if you've ever tried gluten-free bread before, it literally tastes like cardboard, which is why I really wanted to share with you guys this gluten-free bread that I found. It is the best gluten-free bread I have found at my grocery store so far. This is by Little Northern Bakehouse, and I always get the seasoned grains loaf because it's my favorite from their other loaves, but they have other flavors if this one isn't your jam. I'll link it down below if you're interested in checking it out and everything else that's linkable in this video. 
Okay, so just to quickly recap what I did so far, I just toasted a slice of my gluten-free bread and mashed some avocado on top with a fork, and now I'm adding some thinly sliced red onion and radish on top. Then I like to add a couple slices of wild smoked salmon, my fave, and a perfectly poached egg on top that I already sprinkled with some sea salt. And for a little extra bite, I add a few capers on top and also because presentation. I'm telling you guys, this combination is heavenly. I never get sick of this combo and it's so, so nutritious. You've got the healthy fats from the avocado, salmon, and egg. You've got protein, extra flavor, and crunch from the red onion and radish. Oh my God, my happy dance says it all. You have to try this. After breakfast is usually when I take my vitamins. Currently, I'm taking a multivitamin from Megafood and I have been testing out the Halo Beauty Hair Skin Nails Booster Supplement for the last month and a half or so. This is a supplement created by Tati Westbrook or Glam Life Guru as she's better known here on YouTube. By the way, I will be making a video about my honest thoughts and experience with this supplement as soon as I finish this second bottle, so stay tuned because I have a lot to say. For lunch, I'll usually go with something that's filling again and add those healthy fats and protein to keep my energy high. Since I'm usually very busy during the day, I like meals that are quick and easy to prep such as omelets and salads. Today, I decided to go with a salad because I had some leftover quinoa grilled eggplant and chicken from the night before that I wanted to toss in there and use up. I hate when food goes to waste. It's literally one of my biggest pet peeves, so I always do my best to finish everything I make one way or the other. For my base, I started off with some beautiful organic spinach, some of that quinoa, and some sliced red onion. And for the dressing, I combined a little bit of avocado oil. Can you tell I have a thing for avocados? <laughs> some organic uh, tahini, lemon juice, salt and pepper, and I just mix everything up with a fork until it's nice and emulsified. I love making my own dressings and sauces at home because I find that they are a lot more flavorful and healthy and this way I can control everything that goes in there. There's never any crap that doesn't belong and it always tastes so fresh when I make it from scratch. This is also one of my favorite salad dressings and again, it's full of healthy fats which keep your skin, hair and nails nourished, moisturized and healthy. After mixing up my base with my dressing, I'll add my toppings. And today I'm adding in some sliced avocado, obviously, grilled eggplant and a grilled chicken breast that I sliced into strips. This was a really, really good salad. Probably one of the best I've ever made if I do say so myself. Okay, now I'm gonna share with you my favorite iced latte recipe. If you're from my Instagram family, you likely already saw this on my stories, but for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I just steeped two teaspoons of organic fair trade instant coffee with a little bit of boiling water, and then I cool it down with room temperature filtered water before transferring it into a tumbler. I do this so that I don't heat up the plastic of the tumbler, which even if it's BPA free as this one is, can release chemicals from the plastic into your drink, so I'm always very, very careful of that. Then I added some of that delicious cafe latte cold brew from Earth's Own and some unsweetened cashew milk from Silk. Then I'll add some ice and enjoy this refreshing and satisfying coffee drink while I get back to work.
A few days out of the week, I make it a habit to do some kind of physical activity, whether it's going for a walk or doing some body weight exercises at home or at the gym. So when I do, I like to refuel my muscles and promote tissue repair with this healthy post-workout smoothie. I've added half a frozen banana, half an avocado, two dates for some natural sweetness, and a scoop of vegan protein powder into my Vitamix blender. My favorite vegan protein powders are this one by Vita Glow and Sun Warrior. So I alternate between the two because they both offer different nutrients and benefits. I'll link both of them down below so you can check them out if you're interested. The Vita Glow one is made up of five different uh, plant-based proteins, including hemp protein, which has 20 amino acids, including the nine essential amino acids that your body is unable to produce on its own and must obtain from dietary sources. And don't worry, this protein is not going to get you high. There's no THC in it, so it's completely safe to consume daily. But because it's so rich in amino acids, the essential building blocks of protein, it has great benefits, not only for the body, but it's also great for achieving healthy hair, skin, and nails. So after I've added my protein powder, I'll add enough nut milk just to cover the top of the ingredients and then I'll blend it all together. I avoid using protein powders made with animal products because they're highly processed and can wreak havoc on your hormones and skin. So I love that there are amazing vegan options out there that are full of good for you ingredients that essentially do the same thing. Guys, you have to try the smoothie, it is so good. The banana cools down the smoothie and makes it taste like a frozen yogurt dessert. The avocado, as you already know, is packed with healthy fats and nutrients, but it also makes the consistency of the smoothie so smooth and silky and delicious, you can't even taste that it's in there. All the ingredients work so well together and make this such a nutritious smoothie and I really look forward to it after my workouts. About two times a week, I like to make these quick and easy vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free pizzas, which my husband loves too. They're so delicious and satisfying and is perfect on those days when you don't want to be spending too much time in the kitchen. For the crust, I use these organic corn tortillas and spread some marinara sauce over top to give it that pizza flavor. Then I'll use whatever toppings I'm feeling that day, and today it was an assortment of some beautiful organic mushrooms that I sauteed the day before with some avocado oil, sea salt, and parsley. Then I'll sprinkle some Daya mozzarella cheese, which is the best tasting vegan cheese I have ever come across. It really does melt and taste just like cheese, and then I'll sprinkle some vegan Parmesan cheese on top to add a more complex, cheesy flavor to it. I pop the pizzas in the oven at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes so that they get nice and crispy and that's my dinner. So easy, so quick, and so, so good. I always have a snack before bed, but I try not to eat anything after 8 p.m. so my body isn't hard at work digesting my food when it's time to wind down for bed. Lately, I've been obsessed with this roasted sweet potato recipe that I learned from Ami Song of Song of Style here on YouTube and Instagram, and I literally cannot stop eating it. All of my friends started making these after I told them about it as well, and they're just as hooked. So what I do is take two sweet potatoes, yes, a portion that I devour all by myself. I wash them really well since I eat the skins and I always buy organic, of course. I usually cut them into halves or thirds if it's a really big sweet potato and then I rub a very thin layer of oil all over them and put them face down on parchment paper. The reason I do a thin layer of oil is because I find that they get a lot crispier this way on the outside. No one likes a soggy potato. After I've rubbed the oil on them, I'll sprinkle some sea salt and garlic powder over top and pop them in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how big the sweet potatoes are. Then I'll take them out of the oven, flip them over and sprinkle the flat side with sea salt and garlic powder and pop them back in the oven for another 20 to 30 minutes until they look nice and golden and crispy on both sides.
Now, mine usually don't turn out this burnt. I accidentally forgot about them today because I didn't set my timer. Shame on me, but usually they look crispy golden all around and not crispy burnt. But nevertheless, they're still delicious and I ate every last one. And of course, sweet potatoes are full of many different vitamins and minerals that are great not only for your body, but your hair, skin, and nails too. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching what I eat in a day and got some inspiration from it. Remember, body confidence starts from the inside. What you put inside your body to fuel it and nourish it will reflect on the outside and affect the way that you take care of it and feel about it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you wish to see more what I eat videos like this. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one.